Hello, this is Eric, and welcome to the GCA's quarterly video newsletter, The Voyage. In this edition, we'll cover the following topics. Let's start this journey by meeting Patrick, our Group Vice President for Human Resources, and see what he says. Welcome to The Voyage. I'm excited to be here for our very first video newsletter. This quarter, our major news is the release of the 2024 GCA Prospectus, the Compass. The Compass is your guide to all the courses available in the coming year and has been prepared carefully by our GCA team to reflect evolving learning needs of the group. We'll be taking an in-depth look on what this process entails when we talk with GCA business manager Cheryl later on. You will also hear about the post-course engagement for two of our new courses in 2023, GCA Credit Control and the Human Resource Suite of Microcourses, the HR for non-HR managers. We have found it to be important to follow up with the participants after the completions of a course. This because it will allow us to provide support and guidance and importantly, ensure that what is being learned is being applied in the day-to-day -day work life. There is a lot more to come, so I'll hand you back to Eric to continue. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Patrick. Let's visit GCA's office and meet with business manager Cheryl. She'll fill us in on the process of L&D forecasting in the GAC group. Hello, Cheryl. Hey, Eric. What's up? Please come in take a seat. I heard that the L&D forecasting process for the GAC group has started. Can you tell us about it? Sure. Firstly, we begin the process of forecasting through the L&D portfolio. So the portfolio will consist of all the courses we plan to run in the coming year, including those in development, and they will be piloted in 2024. So this portfolio is put together in consultation with key stakeholders and course ambassadors from across the group. Once we finalize the L&D portfolio, we develop the GCA prospectus, or what we like to call the compass. This goes out to all managers and GLOs and is available for all GAC personnel so that they can start to plan their learning for the next year. Managers and GLOs will use the compass to assess the strategic learning needs of their company and their individual employees and then send this back to us in a forecast for their company. We then collate these to create the L&D forecast for the group. It's an important part of understanding the group learning needs and providing learning opportunities that reflect this. That is quite an essential process for the GAC group. It sure is. See you later, Cheryl. Definitely. Now let's head to the GCA team and hear from Felicito, the operations manager. Felicito, I read in the last GCA newsletter about the great results of the GCC and HNM course pilots. I've also heard that there's been a lot going on in terms of post-course engagement with these two courses. Mind filling us in? Absolutely, let's dive into it. The group credit control team has established a comprehensive set of post-course engagement strategies to reinforce the understanding and application of credit control principles among companies. It starts with sharing the GCC videos, giving company managers and their core teams insights into the dynamics of credit control expectations and strategies. The group credit control team also meet with company managers and their core teams to discuss their order to cash processes and to help them conduct a GAC self-assessment and recommendation, GSAR, to better understand strengths and areas for improvement. They then provide tailored support based on the GSAR observations and assist companies in implementing KPIs. The interactive sessions with company managers and their core teams empower them to set and measure performance expectations to have all GAC companies able to benchmark and manage their credit control performance and implement improvement measures. This means that all GCC participants will have the support they need to implement what they learned in the course. How about we ask Anila? 
our L&D executive, to take us through the strategies in place for the H&M course. After a successful pilot launch of our HR for non-HR managers course, the group HR team is working on their post-course engagement activities. The aim here is to ensure the participants apply what they have learned on the job. We will cover more on this in our next news edition. Stay tuned. Leia, could you take us through the CSR course results? The CSR course for 2023 has concluded, and it's great we had such high completion rating. CSR is an important part of keeping ourselves and GAC's digital assets safe online. Let's look at some of the numbers for this year's CSR. Always remember to think before you click. Wow, that's a lot of effort and amazing results. Yes, and did you know that Gaclearn has a feature where participants can share their course certificates on their LinkedIn profile? Any GCA courses you've completed can now be displayed in the Licenses and Certificates section of your LinkedIn profile, simply by sharing it from your Gaclearn profile. Detailed instructions on how to do this are shared in the comments section of this video. That is such great information. Let's now hear from Diane and see who the top participants are in the last quarter. And the top participants are for the IGW course. For HSSE. For the BFO course. For FFF. For the GCC course. For GEF. For the GFE course. For PPD. For H&M. For the EBW course. For GIC. Congratulations on your hard work and for being models of excellence. Thanks, Diane, and a special thank you to all of you for joining us on this edition of The Voyage. Until we meet again, this is Eric signing off from the GCA office. Take care and see you soon.